Hi everyone, this week we're going to be painting a sleeping fox with an explosion of leaves and flowers going on around him. So we'll be continuing our sort of woodland theme that we had going on with the sloth painting from um, last time. So this should be a lot of fun to do and let's get started. What you will need for the fox painting is some paints, brushes, something to paint on, and something to use as a canvas. Or not a canvas, but a palette. If you signed up and got a supply kit, this is what will come in the supply kit. So you've got a canvas board, a foam plate, a couple of brushes, and the paint. And the paints that we're using for this project is yellow paint, green paint, white, black and then orange for the fox. So that comes in the supply kit. You'll also need to have some water for mixing and probably a pencil and maybe a scrap piece of paper so you can practice sketching your fox before you put him on the canvas or you can just sort of you know freeform it however you want to do it. All right, to start off, we're gonna sketch our fox a couple of times just to see how we can best make him. So I'm gonna start out with just kind of his head area and then start with his tail over here. Go there, and maybe go around like that. ears. I'm never sure quite how tall to make the ears on a fox. And remember he's sleeping. Every time I try to draw this it ends up different. That's pretty cute. If you think his head's too big, you can draw it again. Maybe I'll try to go from this side. I don't like that one. This box looks a little wonky. But again, just sketch it until you feel comfortable. I think I'm going to go with that one as far as how I drew that one. Then you'll get your canvas board or whatever you're going to paint on out. And I'm going to pick sort of right in the middle. You can make him as big as you want or as small as you want. So wish me luck here. Wish you luck. His head looks really big, but I'm going to go with it. Again, I'm not that confident on his ears, but he'll be cute. And even if you sketched it and you, you're not quite that comfortable, you can always change it while you're painting it. Um, because I could probably make his ears a little bigger right there and maybe make him, his body matches big head. So don't get too caught up in making him perfect because we can alter him while, as we paint. So now let's get started painting. All right. First, we're going to start out with the yellow. So, get your brush wet, get into some of that yellow, and we're going to do maybe four or five plants coming out from behind um, our fox. So, we're going to do one over here, maybe make it 
fern type plant ish and remember this is such a small canvas you can kind of move it around however you want One fern there. I'm going to do another one down here. And again, do not worry about making it perfect. I'll do another fern, maybe up here. Or a fern type-ish. Be a regular leaf. And we'll do one that's on a stem. And again, mix up the placements if you want to. You do not have to do them where I'm doing them. I just wanted a few yellows in the back because we're going to build up and get darker as we go to the front and have him or girl fox surrounded by some plants. All right, that's my yellow. Now we can move on to green. All right, now I've just mixed up some green with white to kind of get a lighter green going on because I'm going to paint maybe six to eight more kind of going around. So I'm building up. So now I'm just going to start adding them around because it, the yellow is mostly dry at this point. So let's just get in there and start doing some different shapes.
know what kind of leaf that is or why I just did that, but it's a wonky leaf. And if you don't like your original colors that you put down, if it looks a little thin, like over here, I have a little too much water going on, you can always, um, you know, take the time to go back over it with more paint. Alright, that looks pretty good. And now we can go on to a just a regular green, just using the regular green. Alright, it's gotten more dried and now I'm going to just use the straight green, just the plain green green that's in your kit. And now I'm just going to go around and add a bunch of leaves but I'm gonna try to stay underneath the tallest of the yellow and then get tighter and tighter as we go in with the different colors so now you can just start painting away And again, do whatever kind of style leaf you want. It can be in the same place as mine. Um, different, bigger, smaller. You can decide. And this is a very kind of light green or the consistency of the paint is not as thick so you will have to probably go over the screen a number of times if that's the look you're going for I'm trying to keep this in shot because I keep getting all involved in my own painting here that I forget that might go out of sight. And we want to do our best to kind of work around the fox.
just going to keep going with the green. Make it as thick as I can without losing all of the th things in the background because we don't want it to be that explosion of greenery around our fox. It's really shiny in places. Now I might spend some time going back over some of the green so that I can see the canvas through in areas like this. So I might go back over those, make them a little darker. All right, so now get your green and black. Put a little bit of black with your green to make it a really dark green and we're going to fill in all of this area immediately around the fox. So just fill it in again with just more vegetation. So it should be a bit darker than the regular green. So the same type of leaves or if you want to get wild and make some more um, ferns, that's cool too. This is dark enough. layer off of it. Is that better?
getting there. I've got it mostly filled, so now to kind of make it all look more solid, maybe put a little bit more of the green with your green-black mixture and kind of come around and just fill in the area around your box, but blend it in with the leaves to make it look like it's, you know, not a ring that you filled in with color that will kind of make it look more full. painting the inside of our fox here. You'll see there's parts that I'll need to go over with the white paint to try to cover up my mistakes here. Hopefully you don't have that much to cover up like I do over here. here I might need a couple more layers or I can come back in with some of the darker color to kind of bring it out. 
so you don't see the flaws as much. There's always a way to cover up. So keep messing with your color of your fox until you get him just how you want him. I'm going to get some white paint and try to cover up my mistake there. waiting for my white to dry or if you've gone over some of your other areas to dry I'm just gonna use the orange paint that we have to add some maybe some like little flowers around to add a little bit more color to this and they can be any shape you want I'm just gonna do star type thing Maybe up here. Kind of tulip. And then maybe you want just something that looks like little berries. Just a little something else that adds some color in. And then you can put in like a leaf or a stem to these if you would like. You don't have to. Maybe I'll add one up here. So it doesn't look like I'm trying to do all four corners. We'll add in some more berries here. My orange paint is acting a little weird on my canvas here. Brush. 
even dab a little in the white. Just right there. There. Just a little something, a little something extra. And again, add however many you want. So I'm just going to stick with those for right now. And we've done this in some other ones, but I just have a shark here that I'm going to use to outline my fox in his areas and add his sleeping eyes. And just make sure your paint is dry. I think mine is, hopefully. Somewhat dry. And got like one eye there. Another eye. That already makes it a look a lot better. And then if you want to just go around and outline him, or you can leave it as is, that's up to you. Or if you prefer to use paint instead of a Sharpie, you can do that as well. And also use this time to kind of clean up any areas, or you could even, you know, just use your pen to make your stems. Like so. So you don't have to get back into your paints again if you've already rinsed off your brush and whatnot. So yeah, it just makes it look a little fun. Oops. There you go. It's kind of cute. All right, so I've taken the sharp and I went in and outlined my fox in the different areas within the fox. I also went back and kind of tried to clean up some of the areas in the painting that I thought needed maybe an extra layer of paint, just cleaned it up a little bit. And it looks pretty cute. And, you know, feel free to try another one. You could do it on paper, you could change up the colors, you could have a pink fox with maybe some blue foliage around him or a different colored flowers or you could put more flowers all around it's kind of just up to you but i had a good time doing this and i hope we'll see you next time thank you